In this video, we're going to learn how to add new products to your Wix store. So when you're in the Wix website editor, all you need to do is find on the left hand side, the little shopping bag that says my store, click and hit add products. So when you hit add products, it's going to take you directly to a brand new product screen page. And this is where you'll be able to fill in all the information about a new product that you're going to add. So once this loads here, you'll be able to see where you can upload pictures, you can change the name, you can add it to different store collections or categories, and you can set the price and how, um, if there's taxes, things like that, you can set all of these settings here in this store product page. So this is what the loaded page looks like. You can see up here where you can add a product, your image, if you have videos of it, um, here's again with the product name, whatever you type here will also produce up here. And if you want to add a ribbon, a ribbon is basically if you want to put an announcement that this is a new arrival or like sale, something like that, you can add your ribbons here, price, um, you know, description, you can have all the editing features with this. If you want to add information like return policy, care instructions, more details like sizing, things like that, you can also go here. If you have a product that allows personalization, there's also a field for that. Product options, this is where you can come in and do different variations. Very easy to do, just hit add options and you'll be able to show it as colors or if you want it as a list and what the options are here. Once you add these together, so say you're gonna do size and you do like small, medium, large, extra large, then once you put those, it's gonna do all the variations for you. And then you also, if you have inventory that you're, you only have so many in stock, you can track inventory. You can just toggle that on and say how many there are. So say you have five in stock of a product and you sell all five. If you have track inventory turned on, it will display as out of stock in your shop. If you turn this off, basically it's saying that it's always in stock and it won't display the out of stock message on that particular product. If this is a subscription product, um, you can also create subscriptions in here. So yeah, so this is when you're done, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you hit save. And if you want it visible in your shop, you can turn it off and on right here. So if visibility is checked on and you hit save, it will become live in your shop instantly. If you would like, there are some different things you could do here about products. Um, if you want to create a coupon for it or a promo video, send an email campaign, share it. You know, there's a few different options here for promoting products as you add them to the shop. If this is important and you want to add a fulfillment service, such as like Printful, things like that, there are some things that you can connect via apps in the Wix store, and that's where it shows who it's fulfilled by. So if you don't have those connected, it's just automatically gonna be that you're fulfilling the product. So that's where you'll go to have a new product. If you wanna view any of your other products, so we can just hit save on this. And if you wanna view your other products, you can go here to products. Oh, here we go. Click products and it'll generate all of your products that are here. So these are all the ones that are like sample products that are usually preloaded in one of our site templates. And you can go in and you can either select this and delete. If you have a product that you like and it's just a small variation on it and you want it listed as a separate product on your site, you can duplicate it and then edit the details. Um, you can make it visible or hidden from your store just by clicking the little eye here, and then you can quickly see what's in stock, what the pricing is, and you can just click on it, and this is where it'll take you back to that editor for the product that you selected. So this is where you can come in, and you can edit all the information that you want for it. So hopefully this was helpful, and when you're done, just make sure you hit save, and it'll bring you back to this product page here. If you ever need to export your products, um, you can import, you can export as a CSV just so that you can kind of see what inventory and things like that are. And then if you want to rearrange your products on the collection page, you can also go here too. So just a little bit about adding new products to your store. Good luck with adding products and I hope your shop's successful.